hi guys welcome to my channel in today's tutorial i'll show you how to diy a glam crystal wolf sconce i used a few dollar tree items along with other inexpensive items to make my wolf sconce and here's my inspiration from amazon and i'll leave a link in the description box below so let's get started i'm starting with one 8 inch mirror just remove it from the frame two round four inch mirror and two round three inch mirrors and i'll link those in the description box below or you can pick them up at michael's i'm placing my mirrors in a straight line and they are on top of a dollar tree foam board and i'm just trying to make sure that they're straight i'm just eyeballing it and then i'll use my marker to trace the shape and i'll be doing that two times but for the second set, I'll trace individual pieces and cut them out separately. I cut these individual pieces with another design in mind. So no need to separate them. Just double up on your foam board so it can be thicker. So you need to cut two designs from your foam board. And then I'll use my X-Acto knife to cut the pieces out. So now I have all my pieces cut and make sure to use a sharp blade. My blade is not that sharp so my lines are not clean. So I'm using my 100 grit sanding paper and I'm just cleaning up those edges. And I did that outside because they're very dusty. Now they're nice and neat. Now I'll just use my Gorilla Wood Glue. Actually this is not Gorilla Wood Glue, it's my Tight Bond Wood Glue works just the same but the tight bond dries yellow as you can see it's yellow and i'm just using my paintbrush to spread the glue between the two sets and then i'll attach them and this will help my wall sconce to be very strong and it will be able to hold the weight I placed some weights on the frame of my wall sconce and while it was drying I started to make my crystal globe and this will be my housing for my puck light. I'm using the plastic snow globe from the Dollar Tree and for my crystals I'm using ice gems and these are the iridescent ice gems that I'm using and these are acrylic gems and I'm just using my hot glue to place them in no particular order just as close as they can get. And this is my last one and this is beautiful just by itself even if you're not using lights and you could always use the clear gems my frame is not fully dry but it's dry enough to work with I'll be using this rhinestone ribbon and I'll just cut it into pieces I previously cut pieces of it and it's a little thin but I'm still gonna use it and I'm just using my hot glue to apply it and I'll apply it closer to the edge where my mirror will be and the perfect size ribbon for this will be half of an inch And I'll just continue to go all the way around and now it's completed and you can still see the white foam board so I'll just use a little silver paint on my small brush and then I'll add some glitter later on and this is just an extra step you won't have to do this I'm done with that part and I'm also gonna add some of my rhinestone ribbon around the cover of my globe light Next, I'm adding my puck light 
and I'm adding that directly in the cover of my globe and I'm using a puck light with remote so it will be easy to turn on and off. I'm just placing the hot glue in the lid and I'm putting a generous amount and I'm taking off the back of my push light and I'm just making sure that it's in the center so I can cover my globe easily. And it's very easy to change the batteries when it's time to change the batteries. Now it's time to attach my mirrors and I'm just going to use my hot glue. I'm confident that the hot glue alone will work. I'm using the Gorilla hot glue sticks and they're very good. But you can go ahead and use some construction adhesive if you would like. And I'm attaching all the mirrors. And I can still see a little white around the edges and I'll fix that later. Now it's time to attach my crystal lights to the center and I'm just using my hot glue, just a dab of hot glue and my E6000. And I'm just trying to make sure that it's centered. And this is how I'll change the batteries when I'm ready, very easy. So I'm going to reinforce the back and I'm using some of the Dollar Tree dowels, some of the skewers from the Dollar Tree, the tall skewers, and I cut them to 22 inches. And I'm just using my wood glue to attach them and also my hot glue. So I use five of my skewers and now it's nice and strong and I'm also sealing it with some of my wood glue. And to hang my wall sconce I'll be using my 18 gauge aluminum wire and I'll just use my pliers to cut about three inches off and then I'll twist the tips so it can have a better hold. I'm using my E6000 to attach my hook and I'm also using hot glue. So I thought I was recording um, those small white areas on the foam board that was showing. I just used my Mod Podge on a small brush, brush the areas, and then I poured my glitter to cover the areas. I left my wall sconce to dry overnight and to give the back a neat look, even though it's in the back, I'm still going to paint it. I'm going to use my Apple Barrel Matte Black Paint and I'm just going to brush it on with my foam brush. And I'm just going to give it one coat of my paint and that should be enough. Because it's in the back, I'm just trying to make it look neat and nice. And here it is dried. It's looking nice and neat in the back and it's beautiful in the front. I really love the way this wall sconce turned out guys. It's very beautiful even with the lights out. It's beautiful and that's what I love about it. I'm loving it but what do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. And please remember to leave me a thumbs up before you leave. I'll really appreciate that. It helps my channel to grow. Alright. Thank you very much for watching till the end. I really appreciate it and I'll talk to you next time. Bye bye.